Week 10 of the college football lived all the way up to the hype. Everything you can ask for, let's get into it. Starting off with Battle of Bedlam, Oklahoma State versus Oklahoma. Mike Gundy and the Cowboys had a message for the Sooners as they ruined their playoff chances by winning 27-24. to Ali Gordon's one of the best running backs in all college football. 134 yards rushing and two touchdowns. This is the last edition of Bedlam we'll see, and Oklahoma State had a message. Let's go to the Pac-12 over Washington versus USC. Was the offensive classic game where Washington won 52 to 42. Yes, 94 total points, 1,084 total yards. Michael Penix had 256 yards through the air and two touchdowns. Caleb Williams had 312 and three touchdowns through the air. This game had everything offensively and no defense in the game. Washington is 9-0 and and USC suffers its third loss of the year, falling to 7-3 and and likely out of the top 25 after this one. Let's go to Tuscaloosa, Alabama where Jalen Milrow established himself as the next great Alabama quarterback throwing for 219 yards but his rushing is where everything took over. 155 yards rushing and four rushing touchdowns leading Alabama in rushing. Jalen Milrow was a man on a mission in Tuscaloosa last night and set his legacy as an Alabama quarterback. Alabama handed LSU its third loss this season, winning 42-28. to Alabama sitting at 8-1 is in prime position to win the SEC West and make it to the SEC Championship game behind Jalen Milrow, quarterback. Let's go to the Big 12 where there was chaos throughout the whole entire day and Kansas State looked ahead on top of that. Texas was up 27-7 to before Kansas State came back to tie it 30-30 to go into overtime, but Texas Longhorns defense prevailed in overtime, winning 33-30. to This run game was excellent for Texas. Jonathan Brooks, 112 yards. C.J. Baxter, 90 yards. This Texas team looks legit as they set 7th in the AP poll and 8-1 and right now. Athens, Georgia had a top 25 matchup as the number two Georgia Bulldogs took on the number 12 Missouri Tigers. Georgia won 30 to 21. Carson Beck, 254 yards, two touchdowns, but this defense came to play with two interceptions on Brady Cook and only holding Luther Burton to 53 receiving yards. Georgia racks up another top 25 victory at home as to set up a better resume throughout the season. Let's go to Notre Dame Clemson where this has turned into a great robbery in the last couple years and whoop! Sam Hartman entered the game 0-4 against Clemson and turned out 0-5 in his career after this one. Clemson won 34-23, got after Sam Hartman. Zero touchdowns and two interceptions. That pick six was ultimately the game changer for Clemson, and they had all the momentum after that. Week 10 lived all the way up to the hype, and this was one of the best weekends in all college football this year. That's all I got. See you guys next time.